So this week on Topher's Take, I'm referencing Mercy Me. Please don't throw away my goth card and hear me out. Talk to you in a minute. So the band Mercy Me has a song out called I Can Only Imagine, which you know, talks about life in heaven and you know, how we can only imagine what that's going to be like. Before I get there, you know, I want to ask you, how do you read the Bible? You see, the Bible we often read as maybe a storybook or a book of facts and figures, you know. I was challenged this week at a study to use my imagination you know, when I read the Bible, which is an interesting thought, you know. And, you know, I tend to be very creative and but very logical, you know, so bear with me, I'll work through this for you. You see, there are things in the Bible that it's easy for us to imagine, like the beings in the book of Re Revelation or Ezekiel, you know, they just paint us a vivid mental picture you know, of what they look like. But all, all too often it's difficult. You know, at least for me because we don't know. I mean, I can't think of one description of Jesus you know, that says he had brown hair or you know, he was this tall or... You know, there's very few descriptive words in the study, which, in the Bible, which it can be hard for me because, you know, I like descriptive words because they paint a picture, but it can also be a blessing because we can use our imagination a little. A couple of th thoughts on, you know, using our imagination a little is try to put yourself in the story. Like, in the feeding of the 5,000, are you in the crowd? Are you one of the disciples who are like, dude, there ain't no way, you know? Where are you? Or are you just one of the people in the crowd who are tired and hungry and you know, maybe don't realize a miracle is going on as you speak, you know, as you're hanging out there? Or are you, maybe you're one of the disciples who are like, wow. You know, we started with two loaves and seven fish. We have this much left. We have baskets left. You know, another thing I try to do is I try to question it a, l a little. For example, you know, I try to wonder in the story of Daniel and the, Daniel and the lion's den, how many lions were there exactly? You know, was there two? Was there ten? Was there five? You know, how many lions were there? I mean, it doesn't matter, but... To me, it helps get a picture, you know, paint a picture of, well, what did that actually look like? Now, here's a challenge, you know, the story of Noah's Ark. We have the facts, we have the details, you know, of it. You know how big it was, you know, how many animals were on it. But I bet if everyone watching this drew a picture of Noah's Ark, we would get as many different pictures as there are people watching this. Why? Not because, you know, we got the facts or figures wrong, but because maybe we just pictured it differently. Maybe we imagined it differently. You see, and I want to encourage you guys to do that more. As you read the Bible, take the time, you know, ask questions about what's going on or why this was significant or what did this look like. You know, take the time to actually use your imagination in it a little. Now, in this conversation, the word, you know, dreams or vision came up as well. You know, and that's why we don't imagine because, we, you know, we have dreams or visions it's in it. But, see, in my thought, a dream or a vision is something you work towards. You take, to, you take steps towards to accomplish, you know. Right now, I want to go back to audio feed next year, so you know, that's a dream of mine, so I'm taking steps toward that. I'm saving up a little. You know, I'm making a plan. Imagination, you just, for lack of a better phrase right now, you just let your mind wander. You know, about the facts that you know. And see, well, what did this look like? Again, that's just my opinion, but 
this whole topic started, you know, on the book of Revelations. And uh, there's a band called Savior Machine who used their imagination and put out three albums about the book of Revelation, you know. And I think that's cool because that helps paint a picture for me, you know. It adds a depth to it. You know, if you know anything about the Christian Goths, you should know who Savior Machine is. If you don't, go look him up. But I know that reference doesn't quite give me my Goth card back. However, you know, I want to challenge you guys to take the time to actually think and as you read. You know, don't just read it as a story. Try to figure out the bigger picture of what's going on in that story. Try to put yourself... In that story, try to determine, well, you know, okay, it says Goliath was this tall and had this much armor. What did his armor look like? What color was it, you know? Anyway, just a couple of thoughts on it that may or may not help you in your Bible studies, but no matter how you study or how you read the Bible, read it, you know, point blank, read it, because it will help you grow as a Christian. If you like this video, Remember to like it and subscribe to my channel. Peace. That's my take. Peace.